First question is from Ryan McClellan, 0724. What is the best way to build the peak of the bicep? Oh, the good old bicep peak. We, we haven't actually addressed this in a while, right? The whole targeting a part of the muscle. Yeah. This was a, a old Mind Pump episodes when we came after uh, your old boy over there, Stepani. Yeah, well, he said he said some stupid shit about making your bicep longer yeah. with a preacher curl. Anyway, yeah. back, so back in the day, the, they would say that, you know, obviously exercises, different angles and all that stuff, they all have different value, right? And, and in some cases... You can work on different parts of a muscle. For example, with the chest, because of the multiple attachments along the sternum, it is plausible to work the upper chest and the middle part of the chest and the lower chest. But with muscles like the bicep, where the attachments on the other end are so close to each other, there's two heads, that you're trying to work one over the other, you're kind of wasting your time. Now, back in the day, what they would say is, well, this exercise works the bottom of the bicep. It'll make your arm longer. This one works the peak. It's going to make the, bi the bicep a little taller here. And this one works the roundness. And this one does also it makes it thicker. And this was all back in the in the 70s and 80s, right? During the kind of weeder uh, yeah, bodybuilder area. I think you got legs too because when you do some of these exercises, you do feel more tension in a squeeze right. or in a stretch. Right. Mm -hmm. And so you're like, oh, this is definitely working that part. Yeah. I just I feel it more there, which... You can manipulate the strength curve, and, yes. there, and there's value to doing that, right? So there's not not value in doing you know a variety of different bicep exercises. I think there's uh, it's very important to manipulate a you know the angles and that's the right, stretch. That's and right. All that the stuff. position of the elbow and where where the most tension is on there. So th there's tremendous value in in utilizing it. But the answer to this, right, is just I mean, it's uh, in order to work the peak of the bicep or develop the bicep more. The best thing that you can do is to do the things that you're not doing for your yeah. bicep. Just the, build is, your biceps. Is the yeah. variant, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, but that's just it, though, right? So, you know, if you get, or here's the mistake I made as a, as a young young kid who was training a lot of biceps because I care, I wanted this, right? Uh, you know, I got really good at doing these, you know, alternating dumbbell curls. I mean, I did that and then like a machine preacher like a, a thousand times over and watched my strength get better and better and better and better at it. And I'm like, oh, I'm really strong in this area. But then I didn't really notice my biceps develop anymore. Well, one of the worst things that I could do in that situation is to keep doing those same exercises all the time in hopes that it's going to continue to show progress in the, the size or the peak of my bicep. The best thing that I could do is to learn other variations of, yeah. of bicep curls and d different elbow positioning, which would manipulate and change the strength curve. That was the best thing that I could do to yeah. develop my biceps. Yeah, the more. exercise that they said back in the day that worked the bicep was your concentration curl, right? Anything where the tension is at the squeeze mm -hmm. of the exercise. Now, there's value in that, but it's not working the peak of the bicep any differently than uh, exercise where it maybe felt more at the stretch, like a like a preacher curl or even like an incline curl. The reality is if you want a good, you know, complete bicep workout, look at elbow position and look at tension, right? So I like to pick exercises where my arms are by my sides, traditional dumbbell curl, barbell curl, maybe one where elbows in front of me, there's your preacher curl, and maybe one where an elbow is behind me, like a mm. drag curl or an incline curl. And then your full range of motion, uh, you chin up, you know, something where oh. you're going through the entire range and you're getting tension with the, throughout the entire muscle. So underrated, yeah. right? A, 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 pal a palm, like a supinated grip chin up where you're squeezing the biceps and a lot of people aren't strong enough to do this yeah but if you are super intense it's so underrated as an incredible bicep exercise in fact it's one of the best bicep exercise it's a compound exercise for your biceps that's one of the best ones I, uh, that yeah. i can think of but yeah you can't with the biceps you can't focus on the peak or the bottom or length you can't lengthen it or shorten it the attachments are where they are you can get make it bigger or smaller but you can't change the. That's what. That's what. What's this is what happens when you do too much mirror in time. Mir <laughs> they, they don't even. They don't even know. They don't even know. They don't even know, dude. They don't even know. <laughs>